Hello friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Monday and I have your word for the day. Now we spent the last week looking at the journey of the Israelites from captivity to freedom. And as we think about freedom, I always find it fascinating that the number one way people have always been punished for breaking laws, for committing crimes, is to take away their freedom and confine them inside a small space behind bars, locked up away from the general population. Why is it that that is one of the number one ways to punish? Because taking freedom away hurts. Now, I have never been arrested. I've never been tossed into a jail cell. I don't know what that experience is like, but I do know what it's like to live in captivity. I do know what it's like to live as a prisoner. I do know what it's like to live in chains. As a child, I was abused by my dad who was drunk most of the time. He had a terrible temper. Before I was 13, my parents divorced. With my mom, I moved into a shelter for battered and abused families. I didn't like it there, so I ran away. After I returned, I was placed in a psychiatric hospital for teenagers. Then I went to live with my grandmother. I grew up feeling the impact of sin, not just the sins of my dad, but also because of the impact of my own sins. I felt alone. I felt unwanted. I felt empty and unloved. I felt forgotten. And I experienced so much disappointment in life, I stopped hoping for good things to happen. But one day, Jesus changed me. After I graduated from high school, I began to visit a church and the youth pastor told me how to surrender my life to Jesus. I grew up believing in God, I grew up believing in Jesus, but nobody ever explained to me how I could surrender my life to God, how I could experience genuine life change by surrendering my life to Jesus and receiving Christ as my Savior. I remember kneeling down and asking Jesus to forgive me for my sin. I thanked him for dying on the cross in my place and I committed my life to him. And when I stood up, it was as though I could stand up straight for the first time in my life. I was freed from the burden of sin that weighed me down. It was like sin just rested on my shoulders and was crushing me. I was freed from the loneliness. I was freed from the power that sin had over my life. And a few years later, I was freed to forgive my dad for the abuse, for the abuse I had experienced. And I began to tell others about the life freeing, life changing power that Jesus offers to all. And I want you to know, God wants you to walk in freedom in freedom from sin, freedom in life, freedom in your relationship with Him. That is what the sacrifice of Jesus was all about. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. And I'm so glad Jesus freed me, not only from the impact of the things that were done to me, but also from my own sin. Thank you, Jesus. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, or leave a comment. God bless.